I was very, very fortunate, still am very fortunate, to have two very strong role models in my parents. Uh, my dad is probably one of the most hardest working and honest people that I know, and my mother being one of the most uh, intelligent and forceful women that I know. I still have a healthy fear of my mother, which I think uh, any good boy can recognize. So my father was in the Army for 21 years before he retired. Uh, that's actually where he met my mom. He was stationed in Germany. Definitely as a kid, when I was out in nature, that was the time to kind of be free and to run around and, and have fun. I grew up with two older brothers, and so we were out getting dirty, playing outside all the time. We would always go out and enjoy the outdoors and go for hikes and go for uh, walks through the woods and do kind of the outdoorsy fun things. As I grew up, I grew to appreciate even more, you know, in college and in my young years in the National Park Service, really enjoying what nature can do for me. Um, it's kind of a restorative place and a place that you can go for solitude, but also just enjoyment. So I didn't ever really think of the National Park Service as a career possibility. My first few seasons at Fire Island National Seashore, seeing how rewarding it was, it really made me realize this might be the job for me. There's definitely a disproportionate representation of minorities, specifically African Americans in our chosen field, whether it be law enforcement or the National Park Service in general. The Park Service is difficult because it's so broad, it's national, and sometimes these out of the way hidden places that we, we really have to do a better job to reach outside of those bounds to find those communities that really would help our diversity. So my meeting with Outdoor Afro was fantastic. They asked me if I was willing to take some time and, and just talk to the group about my experiences because they found it unique and rare and special to find a person of color wearing the uniform out here in the park. And the more I've interacted with them over the years, I do realize it is rare and unfortunately rare to find diversity of any kind out here working in the National Park Service. It, it's really important for us to continue to reflect the people that come to visit our parks. There's that immediate heartfelt connection when a young person looks up and sees a person that looks like them or sounds like them or speaks like them, speaks their language even, to say, yeah, they're not that different from me. And the job that they're doing is totally something that I'd be interested in doing. We have a lot of opportunities, not only for visitation and enjoyment, but there are a lot of job opportunities and partnering opportunities, volunteering opportunities that give people great exposure to things that we have here within the park. The more we open young people's eyes to say, you can do whatever you set your mind to in this country, that's, that's a good thing. It's a big thing.